spectacular eclipse, you're in luck, especially if you're here in Albuquerque. As we've been reporting, Albuquerque is in the perfect spot to see it, but you have to be careful. News 13, Selena Westervelt has some tips to see it safely. Selena? Tim, astronomers from across the U.S. are flocking to Albuquerque just to take in the spectacle. But for all of us amateurs, here's some tips to help you enjoy the event, known as the Ring of Fire. The disk of the moon is smaller than the disk of the sun. So when the disk of the moon gets in front of the sun, it's unable to completely cover the sun, and as a result, for our geometry or our location here in Albuquerque, we'll see a perfect ring of light around the moon called the Ring of Fire. Hundreds of astronomers and thousands of looky loos are flocking to the city just to watch. We found this guy setting up early after a 16 hour drive from Texas. But he and everyone else will have to be careful. That's because looking directly at sunlight, especially when it's intensified by an eclipse, can scorch your retina. Retinas don't have pain receptors, so damage sets in quickly. Special viewing glasses are sold out across the city. It's very simple. I made this one in about five minutes. But you can make a do it yourself viewer. All you need is a box, tape, tin foil, and a white piece of paper. Cut a hole in the box and then. On the bottom, I pasted a piece of white paper. Then I took a piece of tin foil, taped it over the top, secured it so that no light would come in anywhere. Then I made a very tiny hole with a. It was just a pin I put in my bulletin board. Tomorrow, starting at 6.30, point the tinfoil part towards the sun, and you'll see the eclipse on the paper. The peak should be about 7.33. Now, there are events that will have solar sunglasses available, including a free event hosted by Bernalillo County at Mesa del Sol. We have 2,000 pairs of glasses, so if you're, we're going to start giving those out about 4 o'clock, so if you want some, better get here before 4 o'clock. They'll also have movie screens set up so you won't need glasses. Astronomers say tomorrow is the educational opportunity of the decade. Tomorrow is an event that actually takes our awareness off the surface of the Earth to our universe. Now, if you don't get a pair of glasses, you can use welder's goggles, but they must be rated 14 or lower. Now, they have also been tinting shops that are selling window tint to make sure that glasses. Um, but not all of those tints are safe. Now here's the test. If you hold that tint up to a regular light bulb, you should not be able to see that light bulb. So your tint needs to be able to be higher than that. Tim? Thank you, Selena. Officials are discouraging people from going to the top of Sandia Crest to watch the eclipse. They say there's simply not enough parking up there. We have a full list of official viewing locations on our website. Just go to krqe.com and look under news links. Hopefully there aren't any